Hi there, this is Kim Phoenix of BuyHealthPLR.com and today I'm going to show you how you can take a squeeze, a PLR squeeze page um, that you get and how you can um, adapt it and add your own autoresponder um, code in, like code from Aweber or GetResponse um, so that you can grow your list. Uh, so I'm in a free program right now called Composer, it's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R, that's something you can download and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my file here, so I'm going to go in here and just to show you where it is, it's um, in this particular um, PLR product, it's in the opt-in report on job burnout, so I'm going to go into my squeeze page here and it's the index HTML that I want to upload into Composer. Now once you've uploaded it into Composer, it should look something like this. And if you scroll down here, you're going to see this part here where it says this is where you insert your HTML autoresponder code for your opt-in box. So the best way to um, find that is what we're going to do is we are going to look in the source code. You'll see right now I'm in the normal code, so I'm looking at it kind of what it would look similar um, to looking at it online. But let's go into the source code where the HTML is, and we're going to scroll down to find that area. Um, I think it's a little bit higher here. Um, Okay, so you can see this is the area where it is. It's right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go into your um, Aweber or GetResponse account, whatever it is you use for your autoresponder. So I'm just going to go into here. I'm using Aweber and I would find my um, list. So let's just pretend it was the customers of PLR list and go in my sign up forms and I get into the publish area here. That's where you want to look. So design settings publish. So I go into I will install my form and it's a matter of just clicking on that and then you'll see there's two things that come up. There's the JavaScript snippet or the raw HTML version. You want to use the raw HTML version. So what you would do is I would um, copy all of this. I would click, I would so I would just copy it and then I would go back over into here so back into my composer which is right here and here it is and so what you'd want to do is you'd want to delete all of this here and put in your code so paste it in there and there you go so if I go back now to the page you will see there it is so then save it. Make sure you go up here and save it. I'm not going to save it because I don't want to leave it in there right now uh, because this is my template, but you would save it and then that is what you are going to publish on your website. Okay? Take care. Hope that helps.